Hi. So now let us take a look at what is Miller's magic number. Now Miller was an American psychologist. In 1956, he decided to conduct an experiment to know what is the amount of data that can be stored in the short term memory. So what he did is, he took a few set of individuals, uh, gave them a set of numbers, okay, around take these numbers, take a look at these numbers, okay. gave them numbers and after a few seconds, he took the numbers back and asked them to recall the numbers. So what he observed is most of the individuals, 95% of the individuals were able to remember either 5 numbers or 9 numbers. Between that, okay, some 6, 7, 8, 9, it in between that. Okay. Now, so he found out, he found out the average of 5 and 9 that comes to 7. So now what happened, he came up with a magic number 7. That is the approximate amount of data an individual can remember in the short term memory. Okay, remember in the previous video I have told you the short term memory can store 7 bits of data. Now this word bits means actually means numbers, but this is not that easy. If I look, look at these numbers, if I combine the first two numbers, that will make it 14, that will make it a single number. Now if I take the average 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, I will reveal to remember the 7 numbers. One of them is 14, which contains 2 numbers. So this is called as chunk of data, one chunk of data. Right? So instead of 7 bits, I can remember now 8 bits of data. So actually this wipes out and it comes to 7 chunks of data. That is the amount of storage a short term memory has. Now again, the chunks of data again depends upon the capacity of the individual. Now an individual might not be able to get 3 numbers together or 4 numbers together. He can just be able to get 2 numbers together. Some of them who are quite extraordinary can get 5 numbers together. So you can remember more numbers. That becomes to 7 numbers. So in this way the capacity of the short term memory is actually 7 chunks plus minus 2. But the chunk again depends upon the capacity of the average.